All right, Chuck. There you go. Twelve dollars and sixteen cent. Four point oh six nine gallons. And if I'd have been all, if I'd have been all the way on empty, I'd have held five point five gallons. So twelve dollars and sixteen cent to do a fill up today on the VFR. Two dollars and ninety eight point nine cent a gallon for regular unleaded. Pretty cheap down here in South Carolina right now, just the way I like it. Now time to uh, reset that, plug the radar detector back up. And go to the post office and uh, make this delivery for the wife. zeroed out my trip meter I filled the tank all the way up to the rim so we're going to go do a little leisurely ride and go to the post office and then come back and hit a maybe hit one twisty road back towards the house and uh, then we'll show the aftermath of uh, today's project which was Operation Carport Cleanup it's not completely all the way done, but it's about 95% better. Um, as you will see at the end of this video, or at the end of the, or at the end of the next video, or I may even stop the camera and just restart it and show a little, show what the carport looks like now. Because right now I'm gonna do a, a run to the post office and drop two eBay packages that need to be shipped out. <clears throat> for the wife. Uh, that up there might be a cop. I would venture to say it more than likely is, so I'm going to slow my bonus down a little bit. And to a good friend of mine who, uh, who likes the boots I bought, muzzle mic. I'm wearing them right now, brother. And, uh, Tom, uh, yeah, I'll go on eBay after a while and see if I can't find a pair of them you like. And if I can, I'll, uh, give you a shout and let you know that they're available on eBay and what the, what the bid is at now. Seeing how I know I'll probably spend more time on eBay than you do. <laughs> and, uh, I think when I get home, I'm going to use the bloggy and take a couple of pictures and put on eBay for um, some stuff I want to sell. So I can turn around and take that money and buy more motorcycle stuff. Maybe, maybe get it to where I can uh, go ahead and buy my new tire I need to buy. I ain't exactly all the way needing it yet, but I'm pretty daggum close. It's down low enough I don't really like it, so. I'm gonna be replacing in the, in the next month for sure. Especially with cold weather right around the corner. I probably should have worn my, my winter gear tonight for this ride. It done got a little chilly. I don't know exactly what the temperature is, but no. Uh, it's definitely out of the 50s, I would say. I mean, out of the 60s. Or out of the 70s, I meant. Down in the 60s, at least. But it ain't too cold that I can't ride, so. I'm gonna quit my whining and just ride. <laughs> well, I got a little Nissan Altima 
next to me from Florida. From the big state of Florida. Up here in South Kakalaki. And then the dead gum ultimate decides he's gonna turn all of a sudden. And I'm gonna stay right here because that's a uh, wild hair cafe and there ain't nothing but a bunch of people in there drinking tonight. So, and these two cars can't determine where they want to turn at so they get right up on it. We're going to ride downtown Main Street in Lexington, Kakalaki. Well, as I tell you what, I am feeling good tonight. Boy, that was a hell of, hell of a pothole. Or where one of them, uh, one of the potholes where one of them manhole covers were. Had a huge dip down into it. I got to start watching for them. But about bottom the suspension out on the VFR. Got another one coming up here if I remember correctly. Drop two gears so the VFR ain't uh, lugging. Chug a lugging. Yeah, if I had a 98 VFR, I could get an ANA performance kit for it, which is a supercharger, and turn 159 horsepower out of out of the bike. What are you talking about would be a Willy King. This thing would want to come up in every gear then, because in 98 I watched on YouTube that they put that supercharger on. 70, 80 mile an hour, he just twist the throttle in the front end, climb up to about about 10 o'clock in the in the air and uh, stay there. Man, he could ride it out in every gear. That's just what I need a VFR with a supercharger on it and get myself killed. Because I'd be so tempted in every gear to let it come up. And where I bring this one up in a second gear wheelie right now wouldn't be a good wouldn't be a good place to uh, do a second gear wheelie with a supercharger because it would come up so fast it'd come over on top of me. Alright, come on people, make up your minds. Let's go. This ain't a five mile an hour sidewalk here. Yeah, I pulled the uh, inserts out of my other field shears and put in the pair I just bought. Because they didn't have none in the bottom of them. <clears throat> and when the inserts in them, these boots feel super comfortable now. Out of a five star rating, I'd give it a 10. That's how comfortable these boots are now. Well, 
almost to the post office. That's a good place to eat right there, Flight Deck. We got Flight Deck right there. Tokyo Grill right there by the Rite Aid. Or right across from the Rite Aid. Something House. Then we got Rush's right there. A pizza place behind Rush's. And on the other side of Wells Fargo, we got uh, McDonald's. And we got a Taco Bell up here as well. There's just all kind of places to eat up where I am right now. Too bad I ain't hungry. <laughs> I got a bunch of icons across the top of my phone. K alert. Yeah, okay, K alert. I hear you. About to get me to turn air here, here in a minute or two. And run on down to the post office. over in that lane as soon as I can. Let me get in behind this red Altima. I imagine won't nobody be in this post office right now. Unless they're doing the same thing I am out doing last minute deliveries. Oh, there's one person fixing to leave it. One other person sitting in the lot with his lights on. Well, that's it from me. Gloves off. That glove wasn't even fastened. Unplug my radar detector out there from my suit. Shut the bike off. And go back here and open this up and get these two packages. One and two. Uh, well, that's about it, y'all.